of $145 million worth of cryptocurrencies locked up and no one can get to them. They're frozen in the accounts of a Canadian digital platform and the platform's head, the founder, died suddenly. Paula Newton is there. This is, this is, a, this is a, a very expensive take on forgetting your passport or dying without letting somebody else know your password. But crucial here, uh, Richard, this was a guy, it's just a guy and his laptop, remember, that we now find out from court affidavits, his wife, his widow, this man died at the age of 30, suddenly in India, his widow now swearing in an affidavit that, look, he uh, basically ran this business out of Fall River, Nova Scotia, one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges in Canada, ran it out basically of his house, it was, the business was where his house was, or where his laptop was, and in her words in the affidavit, and I do not know the password or the recovery key. They have had experts on this. She's been working on this. In the meantime, $145 million at stake, more than 100,000 users trying to get their money. And you know, Richard, this is the difference between hot wallets and cold wallets. So far, there hasn't been any kind of accusation that anyone's done anything illegal here. But the issue is that he kept everything offline in what they call cold wallets so that the hackers couldn't get to it. Well, now, no one seems to be able to get to this cryptocurrency. They are on, in court uh, in Nova Scotia as we speak, trying to keep their creditors at bay to give everyone a little bit more time to see if they can open this treasure trove of cryptocurrency that is How? owed to these people. Uh, it is a, quite a tale on where regulation starts and finishes. In this case, very little regulation. And you can replay this story, Richard, from Asia to North America to Europe, a whole Paula. heck of a lot of concerns here, and many people will be watching very carefully.